hey, what's going on, everybody? Today, you're watching episode one of my new series called Apps You Should Be Using, and it's about apps you should be using. Pretty straightforward. I think there's a lot of good ones out there that just make my experience a little bit better, so let's get to it. Today's app is going to be Open Mic Plus, and the best way to sum it up is, have you ever wanted the awesome active listening and always-on uh, functionality of the Moto X? Hint. Yes, you have. Well, now you can have it pretty much uh, with very minimal battery drain, and most of the time it's going to work pretty well. It's called Open Mic Plus, and it's developed by a high schooler, actually. It's a really awesome little app, so let's go take a look at it. So when you download and install Open Mic Plus, this is the screen you'll be greeted with. You'll have your gigantic start button or your play button, um, and that's just going to turn it on or off. Hot phrase detection will be on because that's obviously how it works. Uh, you want it to detect the phrase. Wave detection, if you turn that on, basically once you wave your hand over the screen, it'll do the same thing as if you were to say, OK, Google. Shake detection, same deal. You just shake it. Hot phrase by default is OK, Google. Speech recognition engine, he just changed to his own pocket sphinx, I'm assuming his own, which is so much better than the Google one. Not sure how that works on the back end, but it's just tons better. If you donate, and I would definitely say too, because this is actually a very, very functional app, so it's definitely worth your two bucks. You can just change the sensitivity of um, how often it'll recognize, you know, you saying, okay, Google. Go back here. Default hot word, that's obviously on. Listen while charging, just that way. Screen on or off, if it's plugged in, it'll work. Start on boot, I do that just because it gives you the most realistic experience. You can uh, blacklist your apps, connect it to Bluetooth. You can actually have it read your text, which is kind of cool. Toggle on launch, meaning every time you open the app, if this is checked, it'll start this or stop it. Hide notification, which I turn off. Um, Google now wake up, which is his own custom wake up animation. I prefer just a regular one. Vibration feedback is pretty obvious. It vibrates when you say the word. Now this is the key one for me, and probably for you. This some other screen is off. This doesn't have a huge battery drain for me, if any at all because I can still get through an entire day without any issues. But uh, this is basically gonna really emulate the Moto X's experience and allowing you to say, okay, Google when it's off and do whatever you need to do. Listen, only while the screen is off, that's a donate only feature. Um, and that way it won't work when it's on. That's good. Like if you have the Google Experience Launcher or Google Now Launcher is what it's called now. Um, it'll kind of not interfere with that because every once in a while it does. Listen while the screen is off if charging. We kind of discussed that earlier. Relock, just relock the screen. I'm actually going to turn that off. Turn off the screen after 30 seconds. Pretty self-explanatory. And you're going to have some tasker commands, but I don't bother with that. So we're going to scroll up here. We're going to turn it on. So you can see up here, Open Mic Plus is on. You can stop or pause it from there. Turn off my screen. Give it a second. And we'll say, OK, Google. Ta-da. We don't want it to search ta-da. So it's really, really good, actually. And I can still say, OK, Google from my menu, okay Google, and it works just fine. It's really awesome. I mean, it works probably 95% of the time. So that's not bad considering it's a d free app or a $2 app if you don't even. Okay Google, call mom. And there you go. I guess I have my, f why did it say, I don't know why it said mama, but it should be mom. Regardless, that's Open Mic Plus, really awesome little app. And that is the first app I think you should be using, Open Mic Plus. Definitely toss the kid like two bucks because it just makes it worthwhile for the developer and it makes the experience a little bit better. It works probably 90 to 95% of the time. It's not perfect, but it's an app that has very minimal drain on your battery and emulates what Google did really well with the Moto X and Motorola too. So, I mean, I don't see why you wouldn't get it. It, it most of the time will be on when you reboot your phone and when you power your phone off. Every once in a while, you gotta go through and turn it on again. It's not a huge deal. It could potentially be free if you just keep it on the free version. So I would say at least give it a shot. I'll put a link down below. When you click in that link down below, do me a favor, hit the like button if you enjoyed this video. Make sure to subscribe for future content. I've got a couple more, uh, not only apps that I think are really useful, but uh, reviews coming up in the near future. It's really overwhelming having like 40 hours of work and then college and homework and trying to manage like the one friend I have. It's, it's kind of overwhelming. I still love making videos and I know I'm not huge so I'm kind of ranting for no reason But I'd like to be I'd like to have an audience because I'd really love to do this for a living. It's it's really fun for me So make sure uh, 
Also, I want some feedback. Um, if you notice, I have like an intro and an outro now. I know the formatting is not correct. I'm working on fixing that, but I wanted to throw it in a video to kind of test the waters. Let me know what you think, not only on the, uh, the movement, uh, but the words, the animations, and the music itself. I know that there's some formatting issues. I'm working on getting that fixed now. This is just kind of a test um, to throw out in open water. So let me know. And as always, thanks a whole lot for watching, guys. And I would really appreciate any sort of feedback from you, positive, negative. Let me know how I'm doing. I'll see you in the next video.